Hi, I'm Mackenzie. Welcome to my channel. Today is grocery shopping day. Here's my list. It's pretty long today. I have a lot of recipes that I'm going to get ingredients for today. Rice Krispie treats, pumpkin muffins, cinnamon streusel coffee cake, hummus, always, lentil wild rice stew and easy veggie stew, vegan Mexican quinoa bake, Sloppy Joe's, wild rice salad, Oof, there's a fly that's driving me crazy. Cheesy potatoes and mashed potatoes, red lentil burgers. Yep, and that's it. So with that, let's head into Walmart and get started. I'm starting out in the pet food section. I need some dog food for Molly. This time I'm going with regular old Purina dog chow. Measuring spoons is one of those things that we just can't keep track of, so I just grabbed a cheap set because we're running low. Next up is band-aids, or bandages I guess, because I'm not buying band-aid brand. Griffin needs yellow, red, and blue modeling clay for a science project that he has coming up. I don't know exactly how much he's going to need, so I just grabbed two of these boxes. Now I'm to the grocery section. Soy milk is what I use when I'm baking, so I need this for muffins and coffee cake. I'm going to add lemon juice to some of the soy milk to make my own buttermilk, also for the same recipes. Now some soda for my hubby. That's one, two, and three. I need dish soap, and the only reason I grabbed this one is because I thought summer watermelon scent sounds nice. A couple loaves of regular holy bread for sandwiches and for toast. I need hamburger buns for the sloppy joes and the red lentil burgers. I grabbed three packages of these great value ones. And then I decided they looked a little too pale, so I changed my mind. I put them back and grabbed this other brand, Lakeland, instead. So I got three packages of those. In the breakfast aisle, the only thing I need are Rice Krispies for the Rice Krispie treats. Next, I'm in the baking aisle. We're running low on toasted sesame oil, and we use it for ramen, so I grabbed a bottle of that. I need sliced almonds for the wild rice salad. And I grabbed a big box of baking soda just because we're out. We're actually running low on a lot of my baking supplies at home. King Arthur flour is my favorite brand of all-purpose flour. For spices this week, I need sage for the lentil wild rice stew, cinnamon for the muffins and the coffee cake, and garlic powder because we use a lot of it. More baking supplies granulated sugar, and brown sugar. Marshmallow cream is what I use in Rice Krispies instead of regular marshmallows because it doesn't have gelatin, so I grabbed a couple of those. And I need two cans of pumpkin for the pumpkin muffins. The last of the baking supplies I need this week is canola oil, and with that, I'm moving on to the next aisle. This better than bouillon vegetable base is my go-to for veggie broth. I need wild rice for the wild rice stew and for wild rice salad. And I need quinoa for the Mexican quinoa bake. It's always so hard to reach. Red lentils are for the red lentil burgers. I probably only need one bag, but I grabbed two just to refill my supply at home. And brown lentils are for the lentil wild rice stew. The kids have requested Sloppy Joe's again this week, so I'm getting three cans of Sloppy Joe sauce. There's two, and one more. I need two cans of black beans for the Mexican quinoa bake, and two cans of chickpeas for hummus. Noodles and sauce are pantry staples for us. I always like to have them on hand for those days when I don't have enough time or energy to make anything else. Most of the people in our house prefer marinara sauce, but Maddie prefers the traditional spaghetti sauce. So I got two jars of marinara and one big jar of traditional. I need one can of fire roasted diced tomatoes for the Mexican quinoa bake. 
and one can of tomato paste for the red lentil burgers. And of course I always get ketchup because I feel like we're always running out of ketchup. I got two cans of black olives for salads and sandwiches. Dill pickle chips for the burgers and for sandwiches. And dill pickle spears because we like to snack on them. Now I'm moving on to produce. I need red grapes and green grapes for the wild rice salad. And what's left will get packed for school lunches or eaten as snacks. Garlic is something else that we go through a lot of, so I buy it almost every week. I also need a lot of onions, so I grabbed a bag of yellow onions. I need a single red onion for the wild rice salad. I also need a single white onion for the veggie stew, but they didn't have any singles, so I decided to just get a whole bag and put back the bag of yellow onions. I got a bag of oranges because I pack a lot of them for school lunches and we also eat them as snacks at home. I need some potatoes for the veggie stew, so I just got a whole bag and what's left over from the stew I will make mashed potatoes with. I wanted some avocados for sandwiches, wraps, salads, and to go on the burgers. They were really, really not ripe, so I just had to pick some anyway. Next, I need four limes. I will juice these for the Mexican quinoa bake. I always try to look for limes that have some yellow spots or are starting to turn yellow because I know that those are the riper ones and will be easier to juice. I need tomatoes for burgers and sandwiches, so I got a couple of these big slicing tomatoes. I need two bunches of cilantro. One is for the red lentil burgers and the other one is for the Mexican quinoa bake. For bell peppers this week, I don't actually need any for recipes, so I'm just grabbing a red one and an orange one to eat with hummus for snacks. I wanted some zucchini to roast in the oven because yum. The zucchini were pretty small this week, so I got four of them. I need carrots for the lentil stew, the veggie stew, and the burgers. And I got two bunches of celery because I need it for the veggie stew, the lentil stew, and the wild rice salad. Mini cucumbers are one of Maddie's favorites, so I like to have them to pack for her lunch. I also got a couple of the big English cucumbers because I like those for salads and sandwiches and to dip in hummus. The raspberries looked good today, so I grabbed one of those to pack in school lunches. And we need lettuce this week for burgers, wraps, salads, and sandwiches. I need shallots for the red lentil burgers. It took me a long time to find these, so I was pretty happy to see them. I'm done with produce now, so from the bakery area, I grabbed a couple loaves of this Italian bread. I like to keep it in the freezer and pull it out to make garlic bread with. For sandwiches, I decided to grab some hamburger rolls instead of my usual sub rolls this week, just for something different. At this point, I impulsively decided to buy a couple pounds of ground beef to make sloppy joes for my meat eaters, so I will also need to go back and get more cans of sloppy joe sauce. I got a big can of manwich because they were out of the cans I got before. Back over in the meat section, I grabbed some black forest ham for sandwiches. And then for cheese this week, I need one pound of cheddar for cheesy potatoes. And some cheddar slices for sandwiches. I used these sticks of plant butter in my baking, so I grabbed a box of those. We don't drink a lot of milk, so I just grabbed a half gallon of whole milk for the cheesy potatoes. This Chobani drinkable yogurt is a really good, quick and easy breakfast to grab as we're heading out the door for school in the mornings. I also grabbed a couple regular yogurts. I only got two because I'm not sure if the kids will like this kind or not. With that, I'm moving on to the frozen section, and that means I'm almost done! Yay! I started out by grabbing three bags of Impossible Wild Nuggies. 
one bag of plant-based meatballs, and three bags of Morningstar Farms chicken nuggets. I need one bag of frozen corn for the Mexican quinoa bake, and two bags of peas for the veggie stew. We go through a lot of frozen fruit for smoothies, so I grabbed two bags of this fruit salad mix because that's one of our favorites, and one bag of the strawberry banana blend because that's another one the kids like. And to mix things up this week, I also grabbed a bag of the cherry berry blend. For the sloppy joes for my vegetarians, I got impossible ground beef, three pounds. So there's two. I'm running out of room in my cart. It's getting really hard to fit this stuff in. And there's three. In the next aisle, I grabbed a box of bagel bites because they are one of the kids' favorite snacks. And a sausage pizza. And one of these cheese pizza dippers for those busy nights. I need four pounds of hash browns for the cheesy potatoes. And I also grabbed a bag of tater tots. And a bag of fries just the regular old crinkle cut ones. Last but not least, I decided to grab a bucket of ice cream for my peeps at home. Neapolitan is always my go-to. I figure with three flavors in one bucket, everybody should be happy. My cart is full and I'm ready to head to the checkout now. I went through the self-checkout. You can see my total on the screen there was $406.77. As always, my trunk was full of kids' sports gear, so I had to toss some things around, do some rearranging, before I could even fit the stuff in there. You may have noticed that I didn't use Scan and Go this week. I just decided that I don't really know if it's any faster or not, so I thought I would try not using it this time. And I don't know, the jury's still out on my end. What do you think? Do you use it? Do you like it? Do you think it's faster? I'm just curious. Regardless of whether it's faster or not, the one thing I really do like about it is that I can see my running total as I'm shopping, and I did miss not having that this week. I am happy to be done. It's getting late, and I still have to go home and unload and put all of this stuff away. I thought it went pretty well. Um, it came to like 406, if I remember correctly, and that was actually less than I spent last time I did a big shopping trip at Walmart, but I think I had some cat food last time and I didn't have that this time. Still though, this will last us probably a couple of weeks with, with just getting some fill-in stuff that we're out of next week and probably stuff for school lunches next week too. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for shopping with me today. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.